Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to announce the arrival of the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi. May I request in a couple of minutes from now, we have the Honorable Prime Minister arriving here at the venue on the stage. Honorable Governor of Kerala, hearty welcome to you, sir. Sri Arifoma Khan. Honorable Union Minister for Approach, Shipping and Waterways and Ayush, Sri Selvananda Sonowar. We are thrilled to welcome our esteemed guests onto the days who have graciously joined us to witness this grand inaugural event. We have other dignitaries walking in. The Honorable Union Ministers are Sri Sripad Nand, Sri Shantanu Thakur, Honorable Union Minister Sri B. Murlidharan, the Honorable Chief Minister of Kerala Sri Pinarayi Vijayan, Honorable Member of Parliament Sri Haibi Eden. A very hearty welcome to our distinguished guests on the days. വേദിയിലേക്ക് എത്തുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് മൂന്ന് പദ്ധതികളുടെയും മിനിയേച്ചർ വിവരിച്ചു കൊടുക്കുകയാണ് കാണിച്ചു വിവരിച്ചു കൊടുക്കുകയാണ് അധികൃതർ ഇപ്പോൾ വേദിയിലേക്ക് പ്രധാനമന്ത്രി എത്തിയിരിക്കുന്നു വേദിയിലേക്ക് അല്പസമയത്തിനകം പ്രധാനമന്ത്രി എത്തും അവിടെ മുഖ്യമന്ത്രി അടക്കമുള്ള കേന്ദ്രമന്ത്രിമാരടക്കം അവിടെ പ്രധാനമന്ത്രിക്കായി കാത്തിരിക്കുന്നു ഇപ്പോൾ അതിനു മുൻപ് വേദിയിലേക്ക് എത്തുന്നതിന് മുൻപ് പ്രധാനമന്ത്രിക്ക് കാര്യങ്ങൾ വിവരിച്ചു കൊടുക്കുന്ന അധികൃതരുടെ ദൃശ്യങ്ങളാണ് നമ്മൾ കാണുന്നത് എന്തായാലും നാലായിരം കോടി രൂപയുടെ മൂന്ന് പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട പദ്ധതികളാണ് അവിടെ ഉദ്ഘാടനം ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് കൊച്ചിൻ ഷിപ്പ്യാർഡ് ലിമിറ്റഡിലെ പുതിയ ഡ്രൈഡോക്ക് സി എസ് എല്ലിന്റെ അന്താരാഷ്ട്ര കേന്ദ്രം ഒപ്പം പുതുവൈപ്പിന്റെ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഓയിൽ കോർപ്പറേഷൻ ലിമിറ്റഡിലെ എൽ പി ജി ഇറക്കുമതി ടെർമിനൽ എന്നിവയാണ് ഇന്ന് ഉദ്ഘാടനം ചെയ്യുക പ്രധാനമന്ത്രി വേദിയിലേക്ക് to the distinguished leader a true luminary and the great son of bharat our honorable prime minister let's extend a warm welcome to this outstanding patriotic son of bharat mata with a big round of applause bharata mata vinde veera putran niranja kayadigalode adeyathe namukku ushmalamai swagatham cheyyam I invite the Honorable Minister of Port Shipping and Waterways Sri Sarbananda Sonowal to welcome and felicitate the chief guest of Honorable Prime Minister by presenting a beautiful Kerala Kasaba Munda symbolizing the traditional welcome of the state of Kerala. Let's grace our most distinguished guest with a beautiful traditional welcome embodying the rich cultural heritage and warmth of our hospitality. സമ്പന്നമായ സാംസ്കാരിക പൈതൃകവും ആദിത്യമര്യതയുടെ ഊഷ്മളതയും ഉൾക്കൊള്ളുന്ന മനോഹരമായ പരമ്പരാഗത സ്വാഗതം we are immensely delighted and very much privileged to have the presence of the honorable prime minister here with us today so your presence truly transforms this function into a historic moment Sri Sarbananda Sonowal the honorable minister of port shipping waterways and ayush and one of the most prolific statesmen of our time will be delivering the welcome address for this mega gathering his extensive experiences and unwavering commitment to the cause of maritime industry makes his insight invaluable welcome sir
नमस्कारम कोशी नमस्कारम केरला आवर मोस्ट रेस्पेक्टेड एंड बिजरी प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी अनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ केरला श्री आरिफ मोहम्मद खान जी अनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ केरला श्री पिनराय विजयानंद जी माय रेस्पेक्टेड कॉलिग Indian Minister for State, Sri B. Murli Dharanji, Sri Pat Naikji, Santanu Thakurji, and Member of Parliament Arnakulam Hibi Denji, respected ministers and elected representatives from Kerala, officers of the Kosin Shipyard Limited, Indian Oil Corporation Limited, and Ministry of Poor Shipping Waterways and Petroleum and Natural Gas, esteemed dignitaries, media friends. Ladies and gentlemen, my heartfelt gratitude to our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for gracing this occasion by his august presence to inaugurate three large central government infrastructure project at an investment of rupees four thousand crores. The sea has always fascinated this land of Kerala and its people. The land of Kerala is itself said to have been created from the sea by Sir Says Parasurama, an avatar of Vishnu, for performing tapasya. This land of Parasurama was created as a topubhumi. On this land, for centuries, seafarers from all over the world have come for its. National research and pioneering engineering skill. Kerala's Vishakamas trace their ancestry to Parum Tashin, the name which itself means the master craftsman built ship with Malabar tick. Today marks a significant day for not only for this Topu Bhumi Kerala, but the entire country as another two. Creation of master craftsmanship by Kosin Shipyard Limited would be inaugurated by our honourable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. The international ship repair facility and the new dry dock project represents a giant leap forward for India's atmanibharta in ship repairs and ship building capability. These are the largest and most advanced ship building and ship repair facility in the entire. South Asian region since 2014 under the able guidance and dynamic leadership of our honorable prime minister india has achieved many significant milestone in the maritime sector which is recognized by none other than world bank in its logistic performance index reports kosin shipyard has contributed tremendously to the nation endeavor having built india's first indigenously Built aircraft carrier INS Bikram. Such bold and visionary reforms have led to the creation of more than two lakhs job in the sector. Work on the international ship repair facility and the dry dock have been completed in record time. The new dry dock, built at a cost of rupees 1,790 crores, is a flagship infra project reflecting. India's outstanding engineering talent and project management capabilities. This 310 meter long, wall first step dry dock is one of the largest marine infrastructure in the region. It will greatly reduce India's dependency on foreign nation. The international ship repair facility to be inaugurated today, built at an investment of rupees 790 crores. It's a unique facility having a ship lift system with a capacity of 6,000 ton, which can accommodate seven vessels of 130 meter length simultaneously. This facility will play a crucial role in transforming India as a major ship repair hub in the Indo-Pacific region. This project will also lead to the development of ancillary industries in Kerala and transform the state into a global shipping hub. The nation is today on a strong growth path towards becoming one of the top 10 ship building 
and ship repair nation globally by 2030 and most certainly will be in top five by 2047. In addition to that two shipping projects, Honorable Prime Minister will also be inaugurating a mega LPG terminal. The IOCL LPG import terminal built at an investment of rupees 1,236 crores boasts a significant infrastructure capacity of 1.2 million metric ton per annum. The commissioning of this significant infrastructure project today by Honorable Prime Minister is another firm sankalp paving the way forward to a big seat Bharat by 2047. Nani Namaskari. Jai Hind!